Hello everyone, the time has come again for me to do another Mac Pro upgrade. This Mac Pro behind me, which is behind my chair, quite an awkward angle, um, is in desperate need for various upgrades and uh, unfortunately I've had to dump all of my upgrade money into hard drives for the past god knows how long ever since upgrading to that one terabyte drive in my G5 I've just had to keep upgrading my hard drives um, it's pretty much thanks to this new video camera HD um, well I say new video camera it's, I've had it for ages now <laughs> HD um, footage takes up one heck of a lot of space in comparison to uh, SD footage as everyone knows so I have no choice but to constantly upgrade my hard drive but unfortunately, um, hard drive prices, as all geeks know out there, have lately gone whoosh through the roof and they're expected to get worse. Um, so, I can't exactly buy a new hard drive right now, even though people are saying if you need to buy a new hard drive, if you need to upgrade your hard drive, do it sooner rather than later because the prices are still increasing. They're increasing noticeably weekly, which is absolutely bonkers. Um, but I have no money to do that. If I wanted to get a 2 terabyte Western Digital Black Drive, I'd be looking at about 200 quid, which is absolutely ridiculous considering I bought my one that's in there now before all the floods and everything uh, I bought that for maybe about 120 quid so I am not going to do that and I'm going to suffer with barely any hard drive space because when you try I remember doing this back in the day when I had 120 gig internal on my MacBook and a 250 external and that was it when you try hard enough you can really limit yourself to the amount of data that you require, uh, just the bare necessities. So, what am I doing? I'm doing an upgrade video for a hard drive, which is second hand. And no, I didn't buy it. It's second hand because of me. Here we have the famous do not spit box. Do not spit. Uh, highest comment on the old um, upgrade video. This box actually says do not split. And this is the box that I got sent my Western Digital Caviar Black 2 terabyte hard drive in. And uh, sitting in here is the original Western Digital Caviar Blue hard drive that came with my Mac Pro. This is a 640 gigabyte hard drive that I took out um, because I didn't need it and now I do. <laughs> I will show you the hard drive situation in a second but this is the 640 gigabyte disk that I was using with my operating system for a very long time. Um, this still has Snow Leopard installed on it, I didn't erase it before I removed it but basically um, let me explain my hard drive situation right now. Uh, please try and keep up with me because this gets slightly complicated. In my Mac Pro at the moment, I have a one terabyte and a two terabyte drive. I've got three terabytes in total. Uh, they're both Western Digital Caviar Black drives. The one terabyte I bought with my, um, as an upgrade to my G5. So it's a drive that I've had for a very long time. Um, the Western Digital Caviar Black one terabyte has my OS, applications, documents, pictures, everything like that, and my iTunes library. So that includes music, TV shows, films, it has everything like that, absolutely everything. And it isn't even half full yet. My iTunes library I think is about 240 gigs, and then I don't know, 240, 250, 260, I don't know, it's less than 300 gigs, more than 200 gigs. And um, of course, other than that, I've got applications and documents and, you know, Word documents don't take up a lot of space. So basically what I'm saying is that's not very full at all. So um, there's a lot of space on that. Now what's on the 2 terabyte? On the 2 terabyte, I've got what's called external HD backup. Now I've got a 250 gigabyte external hard drive up there which is full and for some reason I've got a backup of it on my 2 terabyte. That's taking up a lot of space and my 2 terabyte is nearly full. Um, so what I'm going to do is move that 250 gig backup um, to my 1 terabyte. So I've got space for that on the 1 terabyte and um, I'll ditch the external because I mean that data on there um, is just random stuff that I need um, it, that's 250 gigs in the size, you know, probably about 225 gigs and um, yeah, I don't need it on the external drive, the external drive is just taking up another plug socket, I can have it on the internal no problem. So what else is on the 2 terabyte? I have got, other than the external HD backup, the only thing that I've got is video editing content. 
Now, video editing content with me is split up into two things. It's split up into my scratch disc and everything else. So, the scratch disc uh, is 1.1 terabytes. So, essentially, I have a half full two terabyte drive if I only use it for my scratch disc, which is what I'm gonna do. That gives me a whole 900 gigs worth of um, free space for a scratch disc, which will hopefully last me a very long time. The other stuff on there, there is about 450 gigs of other video editing stuff. That includes all of my old iMovie projects um, before I started using Final Cut, and it also includes all the raw footage from other sources, um, all of the files for Final Cut, that like pictures for projects, it's got all the project storage and all of my YouTube exports as well. And all of that stuff is going on here. So there will be a massive saving of space on my two terabyte drive, which is what I want. So hopefully you um, caught up with all of that, guys. It's very confusing, I know. Um, but all I'm gonna do now is um, open up the Mac Pro and shove in this drive and share it with you guys just because I love Mac Pro upgrade videos even if they're not that exciting. I know this isn't a brand new drive but it's the same difference and uh, there hopefully will be another Mac Pro upgrade video very soon because it's in desperate need of certain components. So now that Mac Pro is on my desk hopefully I'll just shut it down, take some stuff off the top and rotate it around a little bit and uh, we can open the door with it on the desk. So I'll be back with you in uh, just a second for you guys but probably about 10 minutes for me. See you in a second. So everyone, the Mac Pro has just shut down and as you can see I've taken pretty much everything off the top that's likely to fall over. And uh, one of the reasons I put the Mac Pro on the desk is because it, it will hopefully be easier to access. So let's just give it a go. Bit of rotation there. And as you can see, extremely easy access, which is fantastic. The Mac Pro is right there, ready for upgrading which is really good. So what we're going to do now, if I can find space for all of my crap, is we're going to disconnect the power. I still haven't got an official Mac Pro power cable, that's something that I need to add to the list. We'll take off the door. Uh, I haven't opened my Mac Pro in a while, so let's take a look at the state of it. And one of the reasons, let's turn the monitor around so I can see. Hello. <laughs> One of the reasons that I turned it, um, put it on the desk, is because collecting dust on the floor, absolute nightmare. And uh, surprisingly guys, even though it's still dusty inside, naturally, it's uh, looking a lot less dusty than when it was on the floor. So, let's zoom in a little bit. So in bay number one, very warm, <laughs> we have my Caviar Black 1 terabyte. It's like holding gold dust right now, it really is. These drives are so expensive now. In bay number two, we have the two terabyte version, as you can hopefully see, two terabytes. And in bay number three, we have absolutely nothing. So this bay is what we're going to use to put the uh, new drive in the Mac Pro. Well, the old drive. So everyone, as I've shown on my channel many times before, it's extremely easy to upgrade the hard drives in the Mac Pros. So here we have the hard drive on the hard drive bracket just like it was when it came to me originally when I had my Mac Pro. So, let's slot these hard drives back in to the machine. So, here we have the drive that we're installing today, the 640 gig. That's going in the third bay. The right way up would help quite a lot. <laughs> Okay, we have the two terabyte, which will just be used for scratch disk from now on, simply because the raw HD footage from my camera takes up so much space. And here we have the one terabyte, which has got a whole host of things on it, OS, iTunes library, blah, blah, blah. 
In the future, what's going to happen basically is this would be dedicated to my iTunes library. I'll have an SSD for um, a hopefully a fairly decent sized SSD because I would like to have all of my documents on it. Um, you know, normal documents like um, the documents folder within Finder. And hopefully I'd like to have my pictures on it as well, ideally. Um, so I'm hoping maybe for 128 gig SSD, OS apps and some documents and whatnot. So then I'll have SSD for OS and apps, one terabyte for iTunes, two terabyte for Scratch, and then I want another two terabyte for all the video editing stuff, stuff and random stuff, another black. I'll be taking the 640 out. But this is okay for now, considering that, um, let's zoom out a little bit. Considering that the state of hard drives and prices of hard drives are going so badly, I don't think I'm doing that bad. I've got 3.64 terabytes of storage inside my Mac Pro now. Um, I only have 2.75 terabytes of external backup, so I have to select what I back up. There are certain things that I'm not backing up, unfortunately, but that will all change soon because I'll be buying an, a new external hard drive, hopefully a two terabyte one, the cheapest one I can find, uh, just for a little bit of backup, hopefully very soon. So let's rotate this machine back around. Ooh, we'll plug in the power first. I need to make a list of things that I need to buy. You know those little random things that you hardly ever get around to buying, but things that you just simply need. There we have it, Mac Pro back in its place. Let's slide it right towards the desk. Lovely jubbly. Absolutely fantastic. That's all straight. Can't complain. Let's boot her up and see what happens. So everyone, the Mac Pro is all back and sorted and I have my new but old hard drive installed and everything sorted. Just got to sort out some backups now and start transferring all the files. So thank you very much for watching and like I mentioned in the last video, um, I've now begun using playlists, so of course this video will be added to the Mac Pro playlist. Um, it's for your convenience and also convenience of new subscribers so they can check out a sort of series of videos easily and understand you know, what order I did things in and what machines I still have and what I don't and blah blah blah. But anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone and of course, as always, I'll see you in the next video.